We come into Friday with investors looking to regain appetite for risk following a week of intense selling in U.S. stocks. The major market drivers this week have been the deterioration in U.S. economic data and ongoing efforts from the U.S. administration to pursue its protectionist soft dollar trade policy. All of this has brought on intensified worry about the outlook for the global economy, with investors all the more sensitive, knowing full well that stimulatory resources at the disposal of central banks and governments are no longer what they once were. Discouraging economic reads in Europe this week have also done nothing to help with sentiment. On the currency front, all of this has translated into outperformance in the major currencies with risk-correlated FX underperforming against the buck. The Swiss franc has been an outlier here, and we believe this has a lot to do with activity over at the SNB to prevent the franc from pushing higher. There have been some signs of the commodity currencies wanting to recover from the depths of their recent lows, and a lot of this has to do with the broad-based profit-taking on dollar longs and some stabilization in risk markets ahead of today's anticipated event risk in the form of the U.S. jobs report and Fed Powell speech. But overall, it's looking increasingly gloomy for the stock market, and technicals are confirming, with the market looking like it could be in the process of rolling over for a much deeper setback in the months ahead. The S&P 500 has already taken out the low from September in these first days of October, and we think it will be interesting to see just how much more of that buy-on-dip strategy is left in the tank. Market participants will definitely be looking for something to feel better about when the Fed chair speaks later in the day. That's all for now.